Hey everybody, Jamie here. So recently I have been all about back to school crafts, but I couldn't help but notice in the comments that a lot of you have requested a very specific DIY. Well, you've asked for it, you got it. Get ready as I show you a quick and easy way to make your own pencil case. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your pencil case, you're going to need a cardboard box. The only requirement is that it's long enough for a pencil to fit in, but otherwise you can nab anything from a toothpaste box to a hairspray box. Do they sell hairspray boxes? Is that a thing? Anyway, I'm going with this angel hair pasta box because it's long enough for my pencils and it has this really nifty see-through area where I'll eventually be able to see everything on the inside. You're also going to need scissors, a writing utensil, and any decorative cover from paint to paper to duct tape. All right, there's no time to waste. Let's haste to the case. Step one. The first step is to open up your tabs completely on one side of your box. I imagine that the tabs are already open because the whole point of this craft is to repurpose a cardboard box. Not like, you know, buy a whole thing of pasta in order to have a free box to use specifically for this DIY, right? But I digress. Once all of your tabs are open, place a pencil up against the box's height in order to ensure that it will fit. Mark a horizontal line an inch or so above your pencil. For me, that was about eight inches from the bottom of the box to the marking. Using your scissors, cut out the front panel by moving down each side of your box and then across your horizontal line. When finished, cut down both sides of your back panel the exact same distance as your front panel. You can cut off your side tabs here too, but I have an idea for them that I'll show you later on in the video. Oh, hold your horses, it's only a five minute video. You don't have to wait that long to find out. The next step is to create a secure closure. Fold down your back tab over the gap in your box. Mark a horizontal line where the tab touches the front panel's top edge and then simply fold your cardboard at this marking. If it's a bit tough to fold, you can always follow my DIY cardboard cereal box in order to figure out how to score your cardboard for easier folding. All that's left to do is cut off the extra tab in order to bend your new tab snugly inside your box to close it. Another fun option is to cut out obtuse angles on either end of your closure tab to create a professional looking flap. Fold that flap all the way over the front panel of your box and mark a horizontal line just a centimeter or so above it. Using your X-Acto knife, cut a horizontal slit at your marking. All that's left to do is insert the flap in order to close your pencil box. Now here I'll mention that if you own a lot of pens and pencils and you're worried that your box is going to open as it's bouncing around inside of your book bag or something like that, it might be a good idea to add in a permanent closure. For example, you could use something like Velcro dots or you could follow the tutorial I did for my leather cuff bracelet with Sohinky from Smosh Games in order to affix snap buttons to your box. Attach your buttons to the front panel of your box as well as to the bottom side of your folded flap. And now you've got a way to keep things locked into place no matter how much you shake it up. See? Okay, so remember when I told you I was going to do something special with these side tabs? Well, now's the time. The big reveal is that I'm going to glue the top ends together with glue. Yep, that's it. What? I didn't say it was going to be mind blowing or anything. But it does create a convenient handle for you in order to carry around by hand or to connect to your book bag or something like that. If this gets in your way more than it does help you out, then just go ahead and cut off the tabs completely. Your pencil case is now fully functional. You can leave it as is in order to show off your crafty skills with an everyday box, or for that final touch, go ahead and get decorating. Now this step is completely up to you. Since I want to still be able to see my viewing area, I'm going to go ahead and decoupage my box. Crafting montage coming at ya. And here it is. Now a box like this takes about an hour to make, but if you want to cut out all the bells and whistles and just cover it in decorative paper with a label, then it takes less than 10 minutes. Plus, for extra organization, you can glue two finished boxes back to back and keep writing utensils on one side and school supplies in the other. With a two-in-one supply box, you can access any of your school supplies at a moment's notice. And with any of your boxes, as long as they can accommodate the size of your scissors, protractors, writing utensils, and more, you can make them as big, small, fat, short, 
thin as you like. I had so much fun sharing this craft with you. Thank you for requesting this DIY and for getting me to think outside of my pencil box. How did you make your pencil case? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. If you had time to pencil case it in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I sort of want to do a craft too for here where I merge my soggy newspaper gluing from my paper mache bowl DIY with my whole pot, whole pot. What the heck is a whole pot? <laughs> it's a pot that carries holes.